Hello everyone and welcome to Sleep Incarnate Gaming. I am Sleep Incarnate. We are going to get started here with Pokemon Ultra Moon. I know some of you might be wondering, well, why am I playing a 3DS title when we got the Switch out? Well, this was originally supposed to have been started in October before the uh, new ones came out. The Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, so this was supposed to be in honor of those. And what we're playing is a monotype egg lock for ghost types specifically. And as we go through our opening here, I'll explain what that is. Basically, for those who don't know, a Nuzlocke is a challenge within Pokemon where you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter on any route. You have to name it. And if it die, if it reaches zero hit points, it's considered dead. You can't ever use it again. It goes into your box or has to be set free. An egg lock is a variation on that where you still catch the first Pokemon, but you then trade it for an egg from elsewhere. You then have to hatch that egg, raise it to the same level that you as the one that you caught, and you name it and all the standard egg lock rule or Nuzlocke rules from there. What we're doing on top of that is a monotype where I can only use Pokemon that are ghost type. So every egg that I trade for will be for one of about 17 or so Pokemon that either starts as or evolves into a ghost type. And I can't use ones that uh, or that evolve later into po into ghosts until they do. So, as long as I've got another one. So, whoop. Screw that up. Go by sleep. I already have the eggs set up. They're on my Pokemon Sun. There's about 58 or so of them. So I will be doing random number to pull them over once we get them. Unfortunately, we can't catch any Pokemon, or uh, we can't trade them over until we get a bit in the story. So that'll be at the end of this first video today. And now we are about to go through even more video exposition here. So, I am going to do a slight variation on the normal rules because of the way the Lola works. There are a number of areas that are trial sites, such as uh, Verdant Cavern and uh, the jungle where Milo's trial is, where as soon as you enter them, you can't catch any Pokemon for there until after you complete the trial. So, for those places, I will do the same rule that you usually have of, you know, it doesn't count until you have Pokeballs. Those roots do not count until after I've completed the trial with them. Once I'm free to capture, I can capture the first one, and that will qualify for one of my Pokemon. Uh, there are, I believe, 17 I, I checked. The reason I went with this one over Sword and Shield is because of Ghost type is the, the least populated type. Like I said, there's only about 17 ghost types across all seven generations that led up to this. And with Sword and Shield reduced decks, while they did add a couple more ghost types in, I don't think it would be that big of a difference. As well as simply the fact that I haven't figured out how to get the uh, Switch recorded over on my laptop yet. I live on the road. Uh, my job has me you know, constantly on the road. I'm only home a couple days out of every month. So I have to be able to record with what I've got, you know. So when I'm home, I will do setup stuff with like my PS4, the Switch, and so on. And now we're going here. So Mom is like, ah, could anything be more soothing? The first evening spent under a Lola's calm moon. I feel like I could stay out here all night. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. 
Meowth, go get sleep for me, would you? Meow. Because I'm playing Ultra Moon, it is a reversed time based on what uh, my real world time is, so I'm, I'm recording during the, the day here. Real world, so it's going to be night in this. Other times I'll be recording at night, probably more often than not. So we'll probably see day a lot more in this. And there's my character. I will say the uh, outfits in the Ultra games are not as nice up front, but I think you get better ones later on. Although there are definitely some major differences between Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and Original Sun and Moon. Oh, you were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. And just look, it's already night here. It's completely the opposite of Kanto. But then we are so far away here in Alola. So sleep! Are you excited to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Uh, I don't know about that. There's not a whole lot of Alolan ghost types. Oh, you. Someday you're going to learn to have a little wonder in your life. We're living in the Alola region now. The beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? It might not be a bad idea to go out and see for yourself just how friendly Pokemon here are. Right, Sleep? Go and get ready for a bit of exploring. Your bag and hat and things should be hanging on your coat stand in your room. And didn't you leave your copy of Adventure Rules on your desk too? Every game's gotta have the little, oh, Adventure Rules thing that teaches you, oh, you know, talk to people, press A, blah, blah, blah. It's not worth it. But here we go. So one of the reasons I picked Ultra Moon as well is that there are more dark types in the sense that your first trial with the normal trial is also is a normal. With Ultra Moon, you have the Raticate, which is the uh, normal dark. So it's going to have advantage on my ghost types. I'd like to admit that I'd love to have a new Pokemon around. Why don't you head up toward Iki Town and see what you discover in Alola? For the same reason, I'm also going to be picking. Um, for the starter, while it won't matter in the long run, for me, what it will affect is that How is going to have the Litten. I'm going to pick the, the um, Poplio so that How has Litten. Yeah, I can't get access until I get access past here. I won't be able to do the uh, trading. But yeah, if I pick Poplio, then How will have Litten, so he'll also have a Dark type, and he'll always have Dark type moves at, after the first two fights that I'm going to be doing today, where we don't have access. Where he, does, you know, today's fights, I'm going to have to be using Poplio. Power of Science is amazing! Oh, good. Festival Plaza. We're not going to do Festival Plaza with this. Unsurprising. And here we go. Tall Grass! Something is coming at you from the Tall Grass! Ah, Vicious Rat! Yeah! Don Jr. We're coming to save you! Because I could just kick the rat. Yep, and here's Kukui. Hey there, cousin! I don't think we're actually his cousins. I think he just calls everyone cousin. 
Hang on, I know you. You're asleep, right? You okay? I saw you get attacked like that. Yeah, I got a bit of help. Looks like you did, though I sure didn't expect that. Yeah. I didn't think these little fellows would dash out on their own to help save a stranger. But I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola, the Pokemon Paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Kukui, yeah? The Pokemon Professor. The Pokemon Professor. He's only like the seventh one of the that we've gotten out so far. People and Pokemon live and work together here in Alola, too. Don't you ever forget. You can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got Pokemon in your corner. Wild Pokemon could be lurking in the tall grass. Yeah, just waiting to leap out and bite you. But you'll be fine if you got a partner of your own. Hey there. Here, let me introduce the Pokemon that helped you just now. This is a grass-type Pokemon, Rowlet. We will probably have one of him later on, because he does evolve into a ghost-type. And the fire type Pokemon, Litten. Yep, that's gonna be House. And the water type Pokemon, Poplio. We're gonna start with you and get rid of you. You see, the fact of the matter is, one of these Pokemon will pick up your first partner. Woo! Oh yeah! Okay, maybe that's why they wanted to save you? Go on and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin. Why don't you go ahead and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin? We're picking Poplio. Poplio works hard and makes some pretty awesome balloons. Really? Yes, we'll take the water type Poplio. We don't want to take it, but we're going to take it. To give ourselves a little more challenge going down the line. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Now, we are not nicknaming Poplio because we're just going to get rid of him. So, you went with Poplio. Woo, what a fine-looking team you two are. Now that you can have Pokemon battles, you're what we call a Pokemon trainer. Here's a Pokeball for Poplio too. It should feel nice and cozy in there. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right, then let's get going up to Iki Town. Sleep, woo! Time to meet the Island Kahuna. Island Kahuna? Truth is that partner Poplio of yours is a gift from the Kahuna, not me. So let's go show it off and say a proper thank you, cousin. It may not be the only gift you get, in case you hadn't heard, the Kunus are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. Tala is not that strong. Be careful about getting into a battle with one. Yeah, as a ghost type, the first island is, gonna, is just kind of a joke to us. Because we're immune to normal and fighting. Yiki Town is right up here. Just go through the grass. Yeah! I put him in the ball. Get in the ball, baby. And so begins our first fight. The Rattata. And down it's gonna go. Oh, it's shaking its butt at us. It means it's showing weakness. Let's see. I don't think. Yeah, we don't have any Pokeballs yet. So this does not count for our first one for Route 1. Do, 
And let's continue on up the hill. She's gonna teach us about the balls. Oh, she's talking about potions. The ball is over here. Ooh, Banary. Yeah, I've kind of done, got it up on my own personal doing a challenge run with some of the more interesting, lesser used Pokemon. And Banary and Lopunny is one of them. But for now, you defense curl, we're going to use a special attack on you. It's a three hit KO. Oh, I just got pounded. Down it goes. But yeah, I won't be messing around with uh, Festival Plaza. I probably won't be doing much with uh, Poke Palago, other than maybe the first island to get more, you know, Poke Beans to encourage my ghost types. But beyond that, nah, we're good. Oh, here we go. Time to fight How. Hey, hey. Which Pokemon are you going to choose as your partner? Have you decided? It's sitting right there next to my feet, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm How. I couldn't wait for us to pick our partners together, so I came to find you myself. Pork. Whoa, your pop is so cool! It's almost like you picked it knowing I had the fire type. Hey, wait, you already picked your Pokemon? Sorry about that, Hal. We had a little accident on the way here, so I ended up letting Sleep choose her partner first without you. Fair enough, I guess it was just fate for you guys to meet. But you can choose one of these two, how? <laughs> then my partner will be Litten. I choose you. Ah, the classic I choose you line. It always gets old. I decided ages ago that you're the one I wanted to have an adventure with. We're going to do so much awesome stuff together. Just you wait and see. Like eating a lot of malasadas. And that's about it. Professor, you'll take good care of Rowlet, right? You better believe I will, Hal. Alright then, Rowlet. Everybody, time to get back in your balls for now. Wait up. Me and Linton have a favor to ask. Be our opponents in our first ever Pokemon battle together. Okay. I'm, I, I'm done with kicking your butt. Hold on. Before you two step into the ring, let's make sure little Poplio is up to it. Yeah, this is one of the things. Like People complain about the, the challenge of, this, of these games being kind of low because you get healed all the time. Um, it, it is what it is. All right. I'm seriously going to enjoy this. Yeah, how is an interesting rival? He's not your traditional like. He's really the definition of that the hyper excited one. He's kind of like Barry, but he doesn't get upset when he loses. He's just like, dude, that was awesome. Kick my butt. Do it again. But. This will go quick. These first few fights will be the same. will go quick. Because of the type advantage. The next one will be a little bit harder for me. Just because he'll have... Uh, 
the Pichu. And I don't know what I'm going to get caught first. It's... I think it's a Grubbin. We'll see. I don't, I don't remember. There's a, I think the first one you catch is... Or that you encounter is set on Rat Wong. Our first defeat! Sorry, Litten! That's right. Beating up kids' pets and taking their school money. Or their lunch money. The true lesson of Pokemon. Whoa, that was awesome, Sleepy! You and Poppy Wheel were both so cool! And I have zero chill! You've got to have the kind of battles where everyone has fun. You and your partner Pokemon too, you know? Right on, Slate. You and Hal both brought out the best in your partners. No, we didn't. He does not. Hal is not that great at, like, a challenge as a rival. At least not till near the end. And pulled off some spectacular moves, yeah? Iki Town is right up those stairs. Come on, Sleep! We'll go check out Iki Town, yeah. And Hala's not in here. We're going to go meet Lily. As they introduce us, yep, this is Iki Town. Yeah, these games have a lot of cutscenes, unfortunately. It's not so bad when you're solo, but it's kind of a drag for a Let's Play. Do you guys just want to see me play and talk about it and whatnot? And of course, as the usual, Hala wandered off, so we're going to go wander up the hill and run into... Yeah, the Tapu Koko ruins. Meet Nibby and... I don't know why in this version we still run in by ourselves without the Pokemon. Instead of just fighting the Spearow. I think that's what it was in this one. I don't remember off the top of my head. I think it runs the same way as in Sun and Moon. Old Lady. Oh, I hope you meet it. Oh yeah, he's going to save me. You know, up the hill, up the hill, run, run, run. And now we spot. The blondest blonde of all that ever blonded. Nah, she's not that bad. She's just, uh, until the end of the story, she's just kind of a... Uh, Better representation of what, like, N and so on was supposed to be of... No, I don't want to see Pokemon fight. I don't want to see them be slaves to people. Let's do this. And so she doesn't actually take part in fighting. She really just wants to help the Pokemon. And eventually she goes, oh, I'm going to become a trainer now. But we'll get there. Come on, Lily. What's wrong? Help! Save Nebby! I'm not a trainer, I can't. You have a Pokemon. I mean... He's kind of useless right now, but still. Oh, I do get to fight him in this. Which means I'm going to need to get a lot of rare candy to... My replacement, because... Popolo is going to end up being like level 8 or something like that. Thank you. 
Pursuits! You're gonna run away! No, I'm not. I'm the only Pokemon that I have. Yeah. One of the biggest complaints with the uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon titles is that they're... Kind of like the Persona games, in that they take a long time to get into actual gameplay and getting started. You know, a lot of RPGs are like that these days, unfortunately. I don't know why. Yeah. Let's see. We fought one Sparrow, I don't know why we don't fight off the rest instead of doing this, but, you know. Stupid trainer. We do get to see Tapu Koko, though. The Electric Chicken. And Tapu Koko is blasting off again! Oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. I don't know how Nebby moves in the first place. Just kind of hovers and waddles. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time. And I couldn't even help you in return. Pew! Now get in the bag! What? What is that? That's gonna be my Z-Ring. Sparkling... stone? Feels almost warm somehow. That lily is what we call Tapu Coco Poop. Please forgive me, I am so grateful to you for helping us out on that, of that dangerous spot. Uh, who are you? I'm... I'm Lily. And I suppose this stone must belong to you. Why, thank you. I will take my... Tapu Poo. Please, don't tell anyone about this. About seeing Nebby. It's... it's a secret, okay? Oh, I'm gonna tell everyone about this. Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Yeah, when I eventually get my uh, Lunala near the end, I'm going to name it Get in the Bag. Um, I'm worried. We might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's too much for me to ask it, but do you think you could see us back to town? There's literally no wild grass. Or tall grass. It is a paved road all the way down. Oh, sleep, you already met Lily, huh? She's my assistant, yeah? Yeah, I know, I'm inconsistent with these voices. I'm terrible. Lily, I thought you were with the Kahuna. Kahuna Hala? He said that he had something to attend to, so he left town on his own. I was just, um, taking a little stroll up Mahalo Trail where I waited for him to return. And that's how we met our... Oh. And that's how we met your new neighbor. Sleep, huh? Or how you met. Yeah. She just got to Alola yesterday. Help her find her way around, yeah? So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances? It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back! Kahuna Hall has returned! Yay! Bah! Charge! Cheer! Woo! Our guardian's chosen one is back! Woo! Everyone throw a party! One of the strongest users in all of Aglala. She's gonna get beat up by a ten-year-old kid. Have I missed something? There you are, Kahunahala. Was there some kind of trouble? 
Ah ha ha! Just got caught up in the middle of some brawling rough rough rough. That's all. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Coco flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby got attacked by some Spiro on the plank bridge. And Sleep here helped protect it. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Woo! That's something you don't hear every day. Ho, oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. See? Don't tell anyone! I'm gonna tell everyone for us! Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. Looks like we have a brand brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. Glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui had told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Phew! Oh, you get in the bag. I know that Kahuna Hall and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. All of the memes. Nebby, well, it seems to have taken a liking to you. I... I have read that Pokemon like it when you pet them or take care of them, you know. So... try it? Alright, here's a lovely gift from me to help you make today's special sleep. Rotom Dex. A Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah, that can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Poplio, is already registered. Oh yeah, so check it out. And this is the trainer passport that I had put together for you. Well, you got to meet the coon at least. Ready to go head home now, sleep? Yes, yes I am. Oh yeah, sleep, hold up a sec. Oh, that's how. Oh yeah, sleep, hold up a sec. What is it, how? Did you figure something? You're seriously asking me that? Who's the one here who forgot to tell anyone before running off for a little stroll and a sing without a word, huh? Hmm, sleep? Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? You mean my tapo poop? Could it be? Tutu, isn't that? You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Sleep? That's when I got the stone. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Sleep, because this is where you aren't meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. You have the makings of a brilliant trainer. I can see that light within you too. You must do us the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. First I'll make sure you get home back home safe today though, sleep. Lily, you two should come with us too, yeah? Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You are that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I will keep an eye on Do 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 do. Oh, you, would you not try to escape the very moment you were told not to wander off? And back home. Mom's like, welcome us back. What do you think of Kahuna Hala? Oh, and look who you've got with you. Yeah, don't get used to him, Mom. We're gonna get rid of him soon. It came running out to help you? What a sweet little thing. Right there on Route 1. And it saved you. That's amazing. It must have been fate that you met. Two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. The next day.
What a stunning sunset! Alright, today's the day that I finally unpack. Not. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it was, sleep. Hey there, sleep. It's about time we set out for the festival, yeah? But first, I've got something to teach you, yeah? Now that you're a real Pokemon trainer. Ah, here we go, the mandatory how to catch Pokemon tutorial. Sleep, hurry it up, cousin. Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility. I think it's the first time he's used, he's made a, a reference. He's you in the, the original one. He makes more references to Pokemon moves because that's his specialty. But he doesn't do it as often in this. Here, I'm gonna show you how to do, catch Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your little demo. to do rock rough for scrubbing that's right throw your ball in his face Yeah, grabbing, woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can always go home, blah, blah, blah. Here, have some balls. And some potions. Our first one. I think it's a grubbin. Yep. So we'll use that a little bit. Just throw a ball in its face. Bam. Nope, no nickname for Broban. So what we're gonna do here is we'll run up that way. Do one more Pokemon. We'll just do this banner real quick. Get uh, Poplio to level eight, and we'll switch over to Grubbin. Okay, you just splashed around in the water. I spit at you. Spitball. There we go. Level eight. Disarming voice. Yeah, disarming voice is the one reason that I don't really like the, the liquid voice ability that uh, the hidden ability of po the 
Poplio Primarina line. It's not so bad for uh, when you're just, you know, high level and whatnot, but for leveling up, it's terrible if you like to swap one out for a hidden ability one. Because your hidden ability one is, um, yeah, oh, trainer. Disarming voice is your only fairy move until like level 45 or something like that when you get uh, Moonblast or uh, Moonbeam, whatever it's called. When the eyes of Pokemon trainers meet, you know what's going to happen, right? A Pokemon battle. And I'm going to beat up your pets and take your lunch money, girl. But, uh, yeah, so it, changing your one fairy move that you have for most of the game into a, another water move is kind of pointless. Let's see, Grubbin will Ice Grip, because it's the only ability it has. Other than a String Shot. is really stupid in this game. Oh, your Pokemon looks so happy that they've won. I kind of like the music of this. It's not as awesome as the like the, the SMT series or Persona or any of those, but it's nice. It's It fits the mood. Let's use a potion. Oh, grab it. Because I don't want to backtrack just to. Ah, oh, here we go. Bug type versus bug type. Speaking of bug types, the the, the one that I do not have of the ghost types is uh, Shedinja. Because you have to have uh, Ninkata and just the way it evolves. If you guys want me to include Shedinja in there, let me know. Actually, I think I might have included it as the last four eggs. But let me know in the comments below. While you're also in the comments, let me know what you guys want me to do when it comes to... There are a few, like Gengar, that you have to trade for uh, Evolution. Do you... Is that going to be... Are you going to be okay with that? With Trade Evolution? Uh, you know. Or do you want me to not do Trade Evolution? I have multiple 3DSs, so I mean, I'm going to be trading with myself. Um, and finally, let me know with Rotom if you want me to use alternate forms or stick to just base Rotom. You know, if alternate forms are cool, let me know. Because Rotom might be one of the ones that I picked today. I don't know. We ha haven't gotten to that point yet. I will do a random number generator. Oh, look, it's Pichu. We're going to be fighting one of you here in a few minutes anyways. going to heal you up. Because we are now slower than you. And that was a crit. I don't want another crit. 
Am I not part electric right now? As a grubbin, am I just straight bug? I should be resisting these electrical moves. Because bug isn't weak to electric, and electric resists itself, I think. I don't have the entire match table memorized. Pull up summary here. Yep, you're just straight bug until you become charge above. Okay, that would be why. If I could play with, yada yada yada. Another little kid I can beat up. And Rattata. That hit hard. We're gonna go pop the L. Sorry, boys. Hey, you challenged me to a fight. Now give me your bunch of money, kid. Oh, Team Galactic. Or not Galactic. Um, the, the, the Defense Force people types. Man, they've got him twirling his mustache. They're trying so hard to make these guys look like the evil team. I don't know how he has a mustache outside of that face mask either, so whatever. Oh yeah, Paralyze Heal. I could have used that a few minutes ago. I was going to be slower than you anyways. I'm going to apologize in advance if you guys can hear that rumbling sound. That is my truck. Uh, I'm a professional truck driver, which is why, why I'm always on the road. And every now and then it does what's called regen. It's just cleaning out all the stuff that ends up in the exhaust system. Making sure it's not problematic. Man, this is an exciting fight. You're using Splash, I'm being paralyzed. I should not be winning this fight, honestly. <laughs> this just shows you just how bad the AI sometimes is in these games.
so now we'll go up to the festival. We have Grubbin for his Pichu. We have Poplio for his Litten. And then we get access to... Doesn't really count... Uh, you know, it's... It's own kind of route thing, but not really. I don't know. We'll catch a, a, a one over there for... They're holding their festival. Heal my Pokemon. Oh, no. Alright, let's go beat up Al. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's kick your butt. Hold on, didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? No. Does anyone explain anything to me until the last minute? No. Oh yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? Full powered festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in friendly competition to please our guardian. Woo! So you will too will be taking part in the battle? I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another since they so often end up getting hurt. But I'll be sure to watch you both. Hall is gonna heal my Pokemon. Yes, I'm ready. We will beat him up. Well, hello, Shadow. That's my cat whining. Yes, I have a cat on my truck. I actually have two of them. The other one is Bagheera, and he's actually being quiet for once. He's usually the one that's wanting attention during the day. This wasn't a Nuzlocke, this would be so easy, because I'd have six Pokemon, or pretty close to it, and he'd have two. But even with the two, this is going to be easy. Oh, his Pichu's actually higher level. That'll be interesting. Showed us his butt. It's surrendering. I don't know why he has Tail Whip on there, because he's used his special attacks. Boom. The level 5 beat the level 6, because the AI is that stupid. I will switch to Paplio. This is that Litten. This is going to go easy. This we're A, we're higher level, and we have type advantage. I am going to have to trade so many rare candies over. For these first couple Pokemon. Oh, 
Uh, now my Z-Ring, which I can't use for a while. Start your island challenge. Woo. I do like what they did with this, where they were just trying to change it up and not be, you know, the standard gym challenge. So, it's... I, I like these ones. These are probably my favorite ones of the uh, series. Not that I dislike any of the Pokemon series, but... I just like what, how they tried to, you know, reinvent the formula here with this. Oh, I'm 11 at 10. Oh, be the Island Challenge champion? No, you're not. Get the little thing that goes on my purse. Hooray! I think it's visible from both sides. I don't think it's just a single amulet. I think it's actually good me too. We'll take a look here in a few minutes. Or a minute or so when I get started again. Visible from the front. Nope. I don't see it on the back there. Thought it was visible there. Talking about Tapu Coco. Go home. Hooray! And those guys. Ultra Requan Squad. Oh, that's not Team Galactic. He's just sitting there twirling his mustache. Got a date with my bed. You and me both, Mom. Doo -doo -doo. The next day. The last time we will see the next day, because everything theoretically is the same day from then on. Yeah, Kukui just doesn't believe in doors. Lily, thankfully, does. Which is who it is this time. Oh, um, Press said, um, Hey there, Lily. Bring me that great new trainer. Woo! So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab if you'll come with me. It's, um, it's this way. Sleep. Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. Oh, well done, Sleep. You're already making friends, aren't you? And what a cute little friend you found. Mom, this is my girlfriend, actually. Nah. But it is. this is a fun... I, I do like these games. But I will want to. I don't want to be just a PokeTuber, so you know, you can expect in the future. You know, I'm also going to do indie titles. You know, because I want to give you know attention out to good indie titles, help them get their game out there. But also do some other mainline, you know, main stuff. Like I said, the 3DS and the DS have an amazing RPG library, so I'm gonna. That's part of why I'm doing this also. I uh, just want to get, you know, share, share, you know, things like Strange Journey and the SMT line, uh, Persona, 
Persona is bigger than SMT now, you know, even despite the fact that it's actually a side series. But, uh... Yes, I know what you, you, Repel does. It says a man. Came from far, far away with a force. Power. Use that power to save me once when I was in danger. That power is Splash. Can you tell anyone else? I've already told everyone as is, so I don't want you sharing it more. in a few minutes. Oh yeah, Rock Ruff, let's go! Give it everything you've got! My body is ready! Woo! This is a kid for ga a game for kids, people. Ah, uh -huh, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. Ruff! The professor. He never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. And I had just washed his lab coat and finally gotten it clean, too. Now it'll be in shreds. And this is why the man wears no shirts. I just have to buy another new one. But yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys wanted me to. You know, I'll start off as I'm wearing. You know, getting used to this stuff. Probably just one video a week. I want to move up to two at least a week eventually. But let me know if you want me to do both videos of the same thing. Like, hey, I'm doing just this playthrough here of uh, Pokemon, for like, for example. Or if you want me to have, you know, maybe one be, you know, the po the one that I'm playing, like the mobile. The other one be that I can do on a, something at home or on my laptop, like showing off an indie title. Uh... And eventually I'll move up to a third one where I review games and do stuff on that. You know, do a third for that. You know, but we'll see what I can do as, as we get going. You know, we're just starting small. Yeah, take our time. But we'll build up. Oh, he's going to tell me about Rotom. My first ghost Pokemon. Yay! Except he lives in my Pokédex and doesn't battle. Yet. I do love Rotom. It's, a, it's an interesting Pokémon, you know, with all the different form changes it can have. And it's it's the better version of Cast Form, if you have to be honest. Cast Form was just like, oh, it's based on the weather, and Rotom is just like, no, I'm going to go pick this, 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 this. So you can make it what you want. Oh, and now I got to talk on the bottom screen there. Nice to meet you, Rotom. Hmm. 
He's never seen a kitchen before, or a living room. I'd be more impressed by the giant aquarium in the back than the loft, but... Okay. Take a look at the map here. No, don't talk to me. I don't want that. I want the map. Yeah, I guess we can do that. Um. Yeah, with the, the the way that they do this, it does make the whole what counts as a route thing a little harder. But yep, Lily's a little loft. Murkrow! He does have a really cool lab, though. This is probably one of the cooler, more interesting labs, you know, because he specializes in moves. So he's got the little gym down here. I don't know why he has love discs, but you know, whatever. Everything has fallen into darkness. Good omen! My cute Pokemon! No one thinks that's cute. I mean, look at that grill. Do, 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 do. 
And we'll come through here. Beat up this little kid. Kneecaps! This is like the short skid for this game. Youngster Kevin. Ooh, Inke. Swap over to Poplio, because I don't want to spend a potion on you for just this one fight. Oh no, I've been constricted. Thankfully, we haven't fought here, so I will look into see if this qualifies as separate from Route 1. Or you guys can let me know if you think it qualifies as separate from Route 1. And next time, I can come back and catch something there or not. But we'll come in here for now. And find, now that we're finally here, we can finally, after we get through the explanation of everything, with our Nurse Joy. We can uh, finally trade for those eggs. Heal up. Right. Time for the trade. And pulling up a random number generator, which I know isn't really random, but it'll do what it needs to do. Let's see. 258. Numbers 40 and 50. Okay, so... Seven, three, eight, three, nine, forty. I'm gonna trade that one for the grubbin. See what we got here. Watch it be a male snow run, and I'll have to do this all over again.
Okay, we'll exit for now, yes. So we can hatch it. Shouldn't take long, there we go, boom. And what did we get? Sableye. Yeah, this is when Sableye is still halfway decent, because they have the Mega, although I can't get it used until the end of the game. And we won't probably won't be doing the post game with this unless you guys really want me to. Alright. What are we gonna name you? You're a female? Gem. And I have to get you to, I believe, level six. I'll check that here. Is that six, six or seven? Seven. Okay, so that's 40, 46, or something, right? 50. To get a level 7 for Sableye, and level 9 for whatever we're about to get. Take good care of egg. Woo! And we hatch this time. Yeah, definitely let me know if you got you guys are okay with me trading that back to myself and so on later on for make uh, Gengar. And what are we gonna name you? Let's call you... Oh, I know what I'm going to call you. We're going to call you Toby. Because of the uh, name of the... Technically demon, not ghost, but paranormal activity. And that is it. I'm going to have to... I will off-screen here. Or... Not the wrong one. We have Jem, who has Kenai, and Leer and Scratch, and is quirky. So you're a neutral one, okay? Ooh. And Toby, who has sassy nature. Not a nature I would want on a Gengar, but whatever. So these are our Pokemon. Jim and Toby. 
Anyways, that's going to do it for today. I will get them up to 7 and 9, respectively, off screen. And you guys can let me know, you know, all those questions, you know, for the, for Toby there, when I, I get him up to Haunters, are you okay with me trading him to myself and back to, to go Gengar? For, uh, if and when I find a Rotom, am I cool to use, uh, Rotom forms? Or do you want me to do just straight Rotom? Because that's the only ghost, one of his forms that's actually a ghost. For, you know, our, how we're going to do the various levels of, uh, or for all the various videos that I do out the week, let me know if you want them all to be the same game, or if you want me to mix it up and do, you know, one for, you know, like, for example, right now, Pokemon, and then, you know, maybe if I start up with a second video next week, let me know if it should be, uh, you know, uh, in any title for my laptop, for example, uh, you know, and just give me all your, you know, your, your comments. You know, let me know how you wh wh what you want to see from this channel. And you know, as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you next time. All right, thank you, and have a good one, people. Bye.